Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is lookup transformation. This time we are going to see lookup transformation unconnected. The transformation types are here, the transformation types are connected and unconnected lookup. And today's topic we are going to see the unconnected lookup transformation. What is the main purpose of the lookup transformation? Lookup transformation in a mapping is used to look up a data either in a relational table, flat file, view or a synonym. We can import the lookup definition from any relational database or flat file to which power center client and integration service can connect. We can also create lookup definition on source qualifier and you can use multiple lookup transformation in a mapping. Actually, the integration service queries the lookup source. Lookup source might be the source qualifier, target, or any table based on the lookup ports in the transformation and lookup condition. Then, lookup transformation returns the result of the lookup to the target or another transformation. Okay. Actually, it compares the lookup transformation port values to the lookup table column values based on the lookup condition. What are the tasks that lookup transformation can do? It is used to get the related value. That means we can pass the employee ID and we can get the employee name or we can pass the, the department ID and we can get the department name. In example, we are going to see that we are going to pass the department ID, we are going to get the department name from the lookup table. We can get the multiple values, that means passing the employee name or uh, passing the uh, department number, we can get all the employees working in a particular department, we can get. That means getting the multiple values. <laughs> And to perform a calculations, that means uh, calculating the tax, I retrieve the sales percentage, etc. And update slowly changing dimension table. That means to determine whether the particular row exists in the target. Slow changing dimension means the marital status and price. These are all the comes under the category of the slow changing dimension. These things will be updated at. Uh, once in a time only, not uh, frequently. So, at the time you have to check whether the particular data exists. If it already exists, means we have to overwrite it. For that, this lookup will be used. And we are going to see when we can go for unconnected lookup transformation. When we require only one column from the lookup table, we can use unconnected. When we want to use the same lookup transformation several times, the same lookup uh, the table multiple times we can go for the unconnected look unconnected lookup transformation is the passive transformation unlike connected transformation that receives input directly from the mapping pipeline here it receives input from the result of an expression in another transformation that means here it acts like a function that particular unconnected a lookup transformation acts like a function. An actual parameter is passed to that unlookup, unconnected lookup transformation, and that particular parameter captures the result and returns the value. To call this unconnected lookup, we have to use one expression transformation. Okay, this is the theory part. We will see the practical example now. Here I have already created one uh, lookup anyway, I will create you for once again I will create all these things. Okay. Recreate it for you. And we have to, uh, I think you might familiar with the dragging the source and uh, target. And uh, here the target uh, is uh, TGT underscore EMP, which I have already created. TGT underscore EMP underscore LKP, which contains a department number and department name. I have already created in Oracle. 
and uh, I will delete the rows if there in if there's any means and I already deleted it so no problem I commit it so that there will be no rows in available in the target now I'm selecting it okay that table is now empty and now we are going to do now here is uh, we have dragged the target and uh, source is the EMP table and we are going to query the department table we have to create the lookup transformation how to create the lookup transformation here is the icon you can click this and we can create the lookup transformation like this or otherwise the transformation here is that you can click that you can create the lookup transformation here we are going to query the source what is our source here it's department table okay and uh, it has got created we are going to do some changes we are going to rename it first here it is lkp underscore department okay. and I am going to remove this this is not necessary going to add one moment that is here we are going to get the department number this purely uh, input port and here make sure that we are going to return the D name so here input port output port lookup port and one more port is return port this return port should be checked only for the unconnected lookup transformation okay as it is returns a value we are uh, checking it and condition we have to add it department number is equal to in department number everything is okay now you have to add the condition here by just clicking this it will automatically show the condition because it says does not match that means here the data type mismatch here I have not changed the data type so we have to change it to decimal and make sure that okay here is not problem mm, okay now it's okay we have created one uh, lookup transformation that is unconnected we have, we have not connected this transformation to any other transformation so what we have to do is we have to use one more transformation to already we have seen this and uh, it acts like a function so a formal parameter need to be sent and it captures and returns the value to call this unconnected lookup transformation we need uh, one more transformation that is expression transformation we are going to call this unconnected lookup over here here we are going to rename it something can given mm, like uh, department name whatever be the things look up have to drag all these things and now we are going to do that here we have to add one more output port and name it as something like this and here what you have to do is we have to how we are having the syntax to how to call that uh, use that function it is the syntax this is the that uh, name the name of that uh, unconnected lookup transformation that is acts like function we are going to pass the parameter department number so validate expression pass successfully okay we are going to connect all the things to the
Okay. We have used only expression transformation and here uh, we have used that uh, syntax colon lkp dot that uh, unconnected lookup transformation name is acts like function and we have passed the department number and we are getting the return value as department name here make it around uh, should be large one Here the department table is uh, only a small one, if it is more, uh, we need to have a Here everything is uh, ok now, now we have to move our workflow okay. And here our workflow already have created it, it is very easy to create, just uh, click this button and you can create the workflow and make sure that one session tag should be created and that uh, should be linked to the map and make sure that all the properties being set here that uh, oracle uh, that connection object should be created and set and make sure that target load type is normal and uh, here uh, we are going to insert and here the lookup department uh, the relational that connection value should be given and the lookup table name is the department already is there no issues okay now we are going to run it we have not made any changes the lookup table is empty actually we have to see whether department name is coming over there or not let's show that We have made some changes in the map, I have not refreshed it, that is the problem. Ok, ok, I have to click this. Now it has got succeeded, ok, and we have to check, yes the department name populated over here, actually we have passed the department number and we have got the department name. This is the way we have to implement the unconnected lookup transformation. Actually this error failed uh, came because uh, as we have changed the uh, map and I have not refreshed it, that is the issue and we have uh, fixed it uh, that is why we have got uh, succeeded so no issues uh, now the result is ok this is the way we are going to implement the unconnected look thanks bye